reference management software is a tool that allows us to collect reference information, information about the sources that we find that we think is going to be useful to us. We can then manage that information in order to get our heads around it, in order to structure it into something that's really going to be useful to us when we come to writing up. And then as we write up, we can pull that information through to support our arguments. We need to start that process by collecting some information. So we need to go to a database, put in some search terms. I'm going to put in the word chocolate and I'm going to run that search. And in this particular database, I have got 20 zillion results, which is quite a lot. But I can already see that a few of these results are probably going to be useful to me. I'm going to select three of these. There's usually some checkboxes to one side or the other of the uh, items in the search results. And then somewhere near the top, there'll be a few controls that will allow me to do things to those items that I've selected. One of those should be an export button of some kind. And what I'm going to do is export the information from those records and download it as what is effectively a text file. I'm just going to put that text file somewhere on my computer where I can find it. It doesn't really matter where I put it. Now if we just take a closer look at that text file, we can see the structure of it. It's very basic information. Databases don't tend to have the full text within them and the same is true of the information that we're downloading. It is just the information we need to find those articles somewhere out there. So it'll be things like the title, the author, the date, the journal it's in, volume number, issue number and the pages. Sometimes we might get things like an abstract, some links directly to the article, but we'll only really be getting bibliographic information, information we need to cite that item. So having downloaded that information, we can then pull that information through to a reference management program. If we're using a desktop application like EndNote Desktop or Mendeley Desktop, then it's a case of opening that file in that program. If we're using a web application like EndNote Online, Paperpile, the web component of Mendeley, then we need to upload that file into that program. We're basically downloading information from databases and then uploading it into a reference manager. With some web-based reference management programs, the process seems more straightforward. We're just pressing a button and then the information gets pulled from one place to the other. However we're doing it, what we're actually doing is downloading a text file and then uploading it into the program. Once we've got that information into the reference management program, we can get rid of that file that we downloaded. We can delete it. The information that we need is now in the program. We can start to manage that information, structure it in a way that's useful to us. So we can put it into folders. We can attach labels to it, organize it to match the layout of our own writing, or we can put it into separate folders for different projects that we're working on. We can go back to the database and download the PDFs for each of these uh, items and then upload those to the reference management program as well. Attach them to the records that we've just pulled through so that everything that we're collecting is in one place. We can also make notes on items. So for example, a note to tell me to look on page 17, paragraph four or whatever. So having collected information, pulled it through into a reference management program and organized it in a way that's gonna be useful to me, I can then think about using that library of information as I write up my own work. So here I've opened a Word document, I'm starting to write an essay. Now, because this is an academic piece of work, I need to be able to support the statement I, I've just written with some sort of evidence. And it just so happens that in my reference library, I have an article that will do just that. So I can pull across at the click of a button, the citation for that item, and also the full reference at the bottom of my essay. I have to make sure that this is all being done in the style that I need to submit. And I also need to proofread it. There could be some weird and wonderful things in my library that are very hard for the computer to make sense of. So I do need to have a look and check that what's coming across is right. But potentially this process of very quickly accessing a library and pulling through the reference information at the click of a button is going to speed up the process of writing up. So a reference management program is allowing us to collect bibliographic information, organize it, and then use it in our own writing. You don't have to use reference management software. It's entirely up to you. It's just a tool that's there for you to use if you're gonna find it useful to use it.